What's good, YouTube? It's your boy TOS Gama, and I'm back with the Madden content for you guys. Appreciate all y'all, the new subscribers that subscribe to the YouTube channel, and all the likes on the last video. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And TOS Nation, y'all know the saying, man. Let's get it. Alright man, welcome back to the video. You guys, I hope y'all don't hit that subscribe button because I got that heat for y'all. I got y'all with a new Madden defense that I don't learn is overpowered. As long as you put the right defensive settings on you guys as well as who you play. So y'all can see me with Queen most of the time. I'm running around with him. That goes and cuts off all passing because he has a fast linebacker, you guys. If you have a fast linebacker in this or a linebacker with an X Factor, go ahead and equip him, you guys, and play him. So now sometimes you can flip this defense. So now y'all can see Queen is on another guy, but and I'm going to blitz. But y'all see the passing is it, shut it's shut down. It's automatically shut down. There's no passing, especially because the Ravens, we're not just going to act like their defense is fine. Their defense is good. But we're going to go ahead and show you all the play. It's called Edge Blitz 1. Now, y'all can see that it's two people blitzing. Sometimes it's one person blitzing because, like I told y'all, um, I have the middle linebacker, and I'm making sure there is no extra passing or nobody gets beat on the pass. So I'm controlling the linebacker most of the time. So most of the time, it's just one person blocking. Or one person rushing, sorry you guys, because I want to make sure there's no chance of him getting a pass or any of my cornerbacks getting beat. So this this one is a man-to-man -man defense, obviously y'all can tell that. But this is very good for running plays and passing plays. So that's why I call it overpowered because it can literally go both ways. And I'm telling y'all, y'all can either do the middle linebacker or the safety. So a lot of times people are going to try to do short passes or deep post on this. That's why you control the middle linebacker. So with this play, y'all want to go ahead and click defend. Y'all want to defend medium pass. Uh, defend medium pass with this defense if y'all want to run this defense. Or just go ahead, if you already have a strong defense like the Eagles defense, just go ahead and defend one of the runs. Defend inside or outside run. And the reason I say that because, you know, when y'all click defend short pass or defend medium pass, it often has minuses that the this an advantage for the offensive team. That way, if you click offense, if y'all click inside or outside run, there will be no passing advantages that the other team will have. Like, for instance, if y'all choose inside run, I know outside blocking will be uh, worse. It will be worse. And inside blocking will have, like, three pluses. But outside blocking will have two minuses. If y'all Madden players, y'all understand what, I, what I'm saying. Because if you're not a Madden player, probably making no sense to y'all. But there are certain advantages that y'all have. So, either y'all want to select medium. But if your defense is already good, and I'm telling y'all, if your defense is already good, just select inside or outside run. Whichever one you think the opponent is going to do running-wise. That way, you won't have a ineffective or a chance for the offense to get um a slight advantage based on what you select them but like i said y'all know i'm quick and short with the videos appreciate all the love appreciate all the views with the amount of content um but if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can know every time i drop a new video because next time i drop a video i need a hundred views you guys within the first five hours so appreciate y'all let's get it